Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick walkthrough on how to create a dynamic tribe. So when you log into Triber, you can go to this icon right here, New DT, and if you click it, you get to the dynamic tribe page. And what a dynamic tribe is, it's a way for you to get your posts shared by members that are outside your existing tribes. So for example, if I wrote a guest post on another blog, and that blog is an import in the Triber, I may want to create a dynamic tribe for that. Or if I have a friend's post that I want to promote, I may want to create a dynamic tribe for that. So let's take an example of a post written by Pete Quinlan that I thought was pretty good. It's called SEO Considerations When Building a Mobile Website. So I'm going to drop that in as the title. And I'm also going to add by Pete Quinlan. So this way he'll get an alert whenever someone shares this post. And I'm going to take the URL and put it in the URL field. I'm not going to use a shortener because Triber is automatically going to shorten it. Now just a quick word as to what a dynamic tribe is not good for. A dynamic tribe is not good for trying to promote some like an ebook or a book. It's not good for sending traffic to a Facebook profile or sending a message to other Triber members. It's really meant for existing posts um, that either you want more exposure or you want to replay uh, through your tribes. So what we're going to go do here is we're going to see how, met, how many bones I want to spend on this dynamic tribe. And what that means is I'm going to set aside 200 bones of my own stash. And whenever someone shares this post, they're going to get 10 bones. And I'm going to leave this campaign running for, let's say, three days. So what, what Triber is going to do is it's going to find um, some tribe mates or potential tribe mates that match this criteria. And I'm going to choose, we need at least 500 followers. And the topics that uh, the tribe mate should tweet about should be SEO, mobile, and let's do web design. Now here Triber is going to go and look for members who match this criteria. They blog about SEO, mobile, or web design. They have at least 500 Twitter followers. And Triber has found 20 people, which is 200 bones divided by 10 bones each. Now if I say I'm only going to pay 5 bones per share, and the member will see how many bones you're willing to share, and then I preview it again. Now it's found 40 people at 5 bones each with a potential reach of 102,000. And I can mess around with this. I can choose uh, maybe I don't want SEO for whatever reason. See if I find the same amount. Now there's only 13 potential tribe mates. So let me add SEO back in. And I'm going to bump up the follower count. So let's say 5,000 followers each. So I still found 24 but my potential reach is now 421,000. So I want to mess around with these criteria to find the largest reach for the maximum number of bones I want to spend. And then I'm going to hit finish. And what's going to happen is this dynamic tribe post is going to go into a queue for the admins to look at. They're going to make sure that it's not promotional, that it's formatted correctly, and then they're going to approve it. And this post right here is going to show up in the tribal stream of the members that match this criteria, these 24 potential tribe mates. When they share it, they're each going to get five bones apiece. If they decide not to share it, after three days, I'm going to get the remaining bones returned to me. So this is a way where I can really get some exposure for posts that are outside of my tribes, or that are outside of my RSS feed. I think it's one of the most powerful, underutilized features on Triber it's extremely um, powerful, but it's also expensive. You can go through bones pretty quickly. The nice part is you only pay for uh, the shares that you actually get. So I hope this answers some questions about how to create a dynamic tribe.